Hello? Can you hear me now? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Hey, oh, okay, we're going somewhere. I I decided to cut out uh, a few um, parameters so my voice may be a little bit off because I'm not using uh, the better thing, but you know, I never let perfect get in the way of good, right? So this is Shatter, and we have been given a task to find a neural, whatever the heck that is. And just so you know, this is my walking speed. This is my sprint speed. We move very slowly. Just gotta keep moving. Oh man, this is unintentional torture after doing that last one. After doing that last one, it's it, this is so agonizingly slow. Oh, this is this is its own torture. Walk so slow. <laughs> Our town's been loyal to the Morrigan since the world enter. Okay, so loyal to the goddess of the of war and valor. Um the afterlife and a few other things, because Celtic gods. We help nur we help nurture its fairy larvae to maturity. In return, we're given some of the most useful biotech in Britain. We're willing to trade some if you've got larvae. You can find it all over the place, but only if you're connected to the network. Larva is really just data, after all. Um, cost six larvae. But I need the neural implant to buy... Okay. So I guess we're looking for some way, some larva creepiness. And out of stamina. Oh, <laughs> see you later, Rain. Thanks for lur lurking. I do appreciate it. And I will see you soon. Okay, here's a thing. This looks like a thing. Girl implant. To install this, take it to the girl in the ruined church. A neural implant is a vial of hormones, enzymes, and nanorobotics. It can modify a person's brain chemistry to access the augmented reality network. Britain is a backwater country with woefully inadequate network infrastructure. Rogue AIs wander the digital realm, largely unchecked by the government. I mean, isn't that Britain now? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Couldn't help myself. And a book. I thought my escape from London would be euphoric. For 30 years, I've toiled in that dreary hell, following the loudspeaker's orders, doing my duty. They said the countryside was nearly decontaminated, that we could move back to a paradise of green rolling hills. But this place is a wasteland. The local town, if you can call it, if you can call it clustering of crumbling brick walls a town, were kind at least. They gave me some biotech, which I'm obviously not going to use. Some pagan nonsense about gods. I could only get out of the country, make it to Nigeria, to Abu, uh, Abju, Abuja, uh, uh, Lagos. I'll leave in the morning, head to the coast. Okay. I'm guessing by this, he didn't make it to the coast. I could be wrong. I could, in fact, be wrong. Uh, and that's a big jump, so we're not going to jump that. So I don't know if we have fall damage. Oh, we are so slow. So very, very slow. Alright. 
time to walk all the way back to the church. Uh, come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you, human. You can do it. Yo! Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, it looks like you found a neural injector. The right hormone config will get you on grid. Wrong one will wreck, wreck, wreck your brain. So get it here and stay fucking still. Unless you want the metal, mental capacity of a turnip. Configured neurals. The brain has, your brain has been configured to access the augmented reality network. In the metropolis of Ab Abuja in Tokyo, this would mean a world of seamless capitalist integration. But in backwater Britain, outdated network infrastructure is ruled by rogue AIs, worshipped as gods. There. Done. You see any weird shit, like giant pink insects and stuff? Don't worry. They're just our AI overlords. This has better be worth it. Okay. Oh, game has been saved. Okay, these are just all save game things. Aye. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here. Uh, okay, that uh, changes things a little. Um, well, nobody's too afraid of bugs. Or, uh, Without the Morgan, we'd all be dead. The government don't give two shits about us. These are hard times. There's so much bioterrorism floating around. Without divine nanotech, our crops would fail and we'd starve. We didn't die from some hacker's virus first. Hey, that doesn't. And oh, hey, a larva. Fairy larva. Premature form of fairy, often traded as currency. To create its successor, a fairy will coalesce raw network data into larvae. Fairy applications are loyal to a certain god, executing commands as need be. They also display a fondness for humans if nurtured in society, so their larva is valuable. Okie hey, dokie, giant AI bugs. Oh, what's on the menu right now? I'm gonna wait before I try and walk up and see the giant bug. That seems like it could end badly for me. But we'll go up here. Go slowly and see if there's any of them up here. This is a slow one after the last one. Like, I played it up for jokes originally, but... This is... Very slow. Great. Uh, 
farther, I guess. Looks like there's one over there. Snacks. Has anyone seen the, the snack tuber? So much fun. Love the interesting things humans come up with. Um, old money. Paper currency bearing the insignia of an ancient dead emperor or empire. For those trapped under the government rule in London, this is the only accepted currency. Though there's little to spend it on, as luxury goods from Asia or Africa are rarely imported. Okay, that's a thing. shoot me. Hey, hold it right there. This here is a government checkpoint. You too thick to know what that means? It means fuck off. Unless, of course, they fancy giving this corporal something they can spend back in London, eh? None of this larva crap. Real money. But fuck off. What's that? You got a few quid on you already? A man of my word. So let's, let's, we'll let you through. So go on then. Piss off. was easier than expected. Okay, there's another larva. It dokey. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Oopsie daisy. Oh boy, I, you know, I get wanting to build atmosphere, but it should never take you more than a minute to get anywhere in a game without something happening. If I wanted to walk if I wanted to walk randomly in a direction for 20 minutes, I'd go outside. Good that. Interesting. It's got interesting visuals, but I don't know. It's like a slow case of seven pages. They don't even have slender. Just a good follow up of what we just finished. Right? Okay. Back that way. Yeah, sure, of course we do.
Invisible wall. Invisible wall. Oh, oh, come on. No, come on. I am stuck in the dirt. Yep. Nope. We're gonna see where it loads us back to, and if it is back to the church, then uh, we're playing a different game. I do not have the patience for it. How many larvae we have, perhaps? We have none. So, yeah, we're not... no. We're doing a new game. New game. Uh, this one's called The Pony Factory. And... The Pony Factory. Winston thought he could use hell energy to create magical ponies. Winston was wrong. This seems to be a shooter game. So this should be interesting, to say the least. Ready, then we'll tell OBS that it needs to look at the right thing. It wants to throw a fit again. There's to hope it not. All right. Cool. That was relatively painless this time. worries me slightly, but hey, we will work with it. Before we do, though, let's see if I can... Make sure that... Yeah, okay, no, this seems to be the right way to go about it. Okay. So... In game. Winston arrived at a solution to the moral decay of, the t of his town. He called out to Hell in a secret candle-lit room one evening, and Hell answered him. The human body could, Hell promised, be twisted, stretched, and broken into a kinder, more equine shape. Human heart molded into something less human. Winston's town, now filled with the cruel and ignorant, could instead be filled with magic ponies, if only he could provide a factory in which to make them. Winston thought they could be beautiful, gentle, and good. Hell had other plans. Ah, uh, you know, I don't work with Hell too much on a regular basis, but I don't think that's in their brochures. I, I, I think they tend not to, uh, not to care too much about those. Uh, qualities. In fact, I think they actively oppose them most of the time, if I had to be honest. Okie dokie. So. Locked door. Oh, locked as well. I'm liking the black and white, I've got to admit. Very good touch for what I'm hoping is a very grindhouse style game. Locked as well. And that's done of some sort. Okay. Bullets. We don't seem to have very many of them to work with. Oh. 
That is a really messed up sound. I like it. Hold left mouse to fire, R to reload, keep an eye out for pickups. Oh. Oh. oh, that was excellent. I am most excited about this now. Well, I don't want to quit. I want to check what the... Hold shift to walk slowly. I like games that have a, a button to move slowly instead of fast. All games should, many, many games, not all, but many games should strive to be quick paced enough and interesting enough that players will want to take a moment to slow down to avoid an obstacle versus wondering all the time if they can speed up. Okay. Uh, that was cheap game. That was cheap. There's the health kit. There's another one. Uh, the fact that these are black and white too is going to be awful. Love how Oh man, I take a lot of damage when those things hit. Oh. Oh, and I'm out of bullets. Okay, we are walking away from now. Trying to find bullets. Bullets here somewhere. Maybe. Somewhere. Yay. Bottomless place. Good thing we didn't jump down in. Got this. Oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> okay. Hey, Rosalind. Nice to see you. Um, yes. This is called The Pony Factory. It is a wonderful, whimsical game about ponies. And a factory that makes them. Using hell energy. Because someone thought that would be a good idea, apparently. Before, perhaps. Okay, give me a second to fix with that. Thank you. I, it's hard to know until I get someone giving me a heads up. Let's own that. 
that down. How's that, Rosalind? Hopefully that should be much better. Doki. Guess I need to have more. Uh... Hopefully that shooting's uh, a bit quieter for you. Expect that. Oh dear. Oh. Hey, pony. Oh. Oh. oh, thank goodness. Something. Okay. Why are the ponies on two legs? The ponies should not be on two legs. Enjoy your food, BP. Hope to see you soon. If not, I'll see you when I see you. Was an idea that you can only hold a gun or a light at the same time it was awesome. This is just so annoying. At least we have more health this time. And then, of course. Of course, as soon as I said it, Bunny got me for 20 health. I'm glad you think so, Rosalind. Uh, to be honest, I kind of dig their uh, whole thing. I just wish they weren't trying to stab me, that's all. Once again, forced to deal with things that should be cute and cuddly and adorable, but in a squishy human weak body. <laughs> Problem. Oh, no. Well, it would be if I had my proper form with my regeneration and, you know, not <laughs> any fleshy things that they're making. OK, 
Okay, I'm just dead. Stabbing apparently for humans makes them upset. No, you don't run into this problem, do you, Rosalind? You stab people in the neck all the time. thing in the game and I don't have any I, I don't unfortunately have any more of a um, uh, uh, this because there's no uh, uh, function So that pony shoots laser beams. Good enough. To be fair, Rosalind, these uh, games that are all part of the Dread Out collection were thrown together in two days for a game jam. So I can't be too upset that there aren't very many, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do wish for when they released them for the collection, they had perhaps gone back through and added some quality of life things. But I respect the want to keep it exactly the same because they were going to go back and fiddle with the code to give things like menus and stuff a chance. The temptation to actually, you know, like fix these games into something really good and not just, you know, game jam level is going to be really tough to do. Fair reach. Now, how about we not get up close game? I don't like getting up close to things that can kill me. I don't normally have the sensation of things killing me. It's just, you know, I, I go around and I smash the things and I kill them. And that's usually good enough. <laughs> I wonder and suspect that maybe somebody had had enough of being forced to listen to their friends go on about My Little Pony. Maybe. I could be wrong. Okay, I, don't, I think I walked away with more health that time. Yeah, my little pony, apocalypse pony, making candy out of cauterized blood. Actually, one of the best adventures that I ever had the chance to read and run was uh, the, uh, the Ponies of Magic Island. And I, I totally forgot to pick up the end of it. Like a dumb. Yep, I, I expected that. 
Um, but anyways, this uh, particular um, uh, adventure required uh, the players to go to an island with some, you know, peaceful residents to all worship the, the ponies to bring them happiness and magic. And it turns out that it's all, you know, a lie. Yep, I'm, I'm just gonna run out of uh, bullets here. Gonna hit. I don't, I'm good with that. Yeah, they get, the, the giblets are very fun. And I like the fact that they're nice and red glowy so that you know for sure that you killed them. Like, no question. Magic moves so fast. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. that glitch was, but I wasn't happy about it. The chain. Ah. time to have a glitch. Uh. 
Oh, goodness gracious. Saved a few bullets that time. Right. Hey, more bullets. Yeah. Hey. And more bullets. And we'll play that. That's okay, we'll kill some ponies and empty our ammo. No, 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 the fish. <laughs> dead. Grab that ammo. And not walk into the deadly ambush this time, I think. Nothing over here is there. Oh, health. Kit. All right. Very much. Speak of, but take what you can get. Just, there better not be too many more of these things. <sighs> Luckily, you don't have to go back too far. rely heavily on this flashlight this round, I think. Okay. Gonna have to be, uh, I am the guy. Or, just memorize location. Huh? Whatever, whatever you need to do. I 
won't immediately die. Nice. Moving along. Kills here. Forgot about that guy. Definitely shouldn't have forgotten about him. than I prefer it to be. But did it with a fair amount of ammo left. Ooh, and my health. We will take that. Boy, oh boy. Quiet, it's too nice. Friends well. Something about this at all. Gonna. Oh. Red light, huh? Oof. Okay. 
Alrighty then. The thing you seek lies at the heart of the pony maker. Oh dear. Okay. What you've been searching for. Take it. Have what you came for. Now escape. Yeah, great. Possibly go wrong. Got it that time. We'll get it next time. Here. out of nowhere on that one. Right. Keep going.
got this. We are not too far from the end. Get out of that one as we are out of bullets. Okay, bullets. Timing. Blend it. Now, just reload, please. Oh, hey, more bullets. I will take a full clip, thank you. Finding those guys down in Long Narrow. Right. Close, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, with the bottomless pit, we're in the opening area. So I think we're just about there. <laughs> Almighty. Blast. Okay. We got 15 minutes. We can do this. Oof, I'm just gonna pass 
replace those guys without turning. So, This might be the kind of place they hide in behind the house, right? Oh man, that would have been bad dying to that after getting so far. Hey, we're outside. Hooray. How is this going to go terribly, terribly wrong? The man smiled as he walked through the abandoned parking lot away from the pony factory. He'd found and stolen the source of the pony magic and escaped with his life. He'd done what others thought impossible. And now, he would succeed where his father failed. With the power of hell at his fingertips, he would create his own pony army, far larger and greater. All he needed were victims to transform and a factory in which to do it. Hell had planned all this. It had smiled too in anticipation of what was to come. <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, I don't, I don't want to do other modes. I'm, I'm good with this game we'll be ending about uh 10 minutes early i think if that is all right with y'all unless you want to do chat but there only seems to be three of you on right now so i don't think you're gonna fuss too much if i call it good for the night right now um so what i'm gonna say is thank you so much once again for joining me every one of you that spends even a little bit of time here with me on this stream means a whole whole lot so thank you very much for being here thank you for supporting me thank you for being one of my star children and thank you and remember i will eat you last good night <laughs>